Well, howdy, partner. This here is my breakfast taco. This here is my holy smoker. This here is my man with no name gun, six shooter. Yes, sir. Uh, I surely do like westerns. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, I am reviewing an un unscheduled review to tell you guys that, hey, uh, the net new Netflix film, The Harder They Fall, is actually pretty damn good. Starring uh, Idris Elba. Uh, and uh, I came out of nowhere. Uh, I love westerns. Watch a lot of them. Haven't seen them all, but uh, just a lot of them. And uh, I was really surprised by this one since I didn't really hear anything on it. I think you should go and watch it. It is really well shot, well directed. There is so much style. The music is completely unconventional. You would never think that reggae music would go with westerns, but it does. Uh, and it, it's got some great music, great performances, a fantastic final showdown battle. That's what you want in a good western there. You want a good revenge flick. And this one is a damn good revenge flick. Uh, they've got, let's see, a train, a train ro robbery holdup. They've got, uh, you know, a whole town that they fight. They got, you know, your quick, quick draw uh, guys who think that they're faster than one another uh, facing off. Just what you want in a good western is characters that appear larger than life that have like their own little quirks and personality. They're almost like living legends. And this film does a fantastic job of setting up their own kind of living legends. Uh, the film starts with Idris Elba's character uh, bursting into a house, a preacher, and his boy and his mother. And uh, you know, he's clearly a bad guy, looks like Idris Elba is, and uh, ends up you know, murdering his mother and, and his father and, you know, scars the little boy with a little uh, cross on his forehead. Almost like that that cross right there in the Holy Smoker. This is from 310 to Yuma. Uh, but, uh, and then we continue the story. We have uh, some various rival gangs. Uh, the Crimson Hood gang looks appears to have done a bank robbery, but then they're held up by robbers who rob bank robbers. Uh, in the Nate Love gang, and uh, Nate Love is the character, the little boy who was scarred, and when he hears that uh, Idris Elba's character, uh, Rufus uh, Buck, is uh, getting out of jail or is loose, he decides, okay, this, you know, it's it's time for revenge. It's time to go seek him out, and uh, and then you've got Rufus's uh, right hand man, who is actually a right hand woman. Uh, her character, she dresses all in black, so I call her the Lady in Black, and she's a badass herself, kind of, you know, running uh, the saloons and running the town uh, for him, and just fantastic characters. Uh, you got the old Marshal who originally took in uh, Rufus Black in the past, teams up with Nate Love in order to go and uh, take uh, take out Rufus. Now, the big elephant in the room, I guess, you know, some people would, would say, which I don't agree with, is, ah, oh, this, you know, how is this possible? There's, you know, were there completely black towns in, in the Wild West? Were there black gunslingers? And the film actually starts with that opening. It says uh, that while these are fictional characters, these people existed, right? And... Just some ignorant people would think, well, there's not, nah, that's not possible. There wouldn't be a not an all black town uh, like they do, because it's a pre predominantly black characters running the town. Uh, they're sheriffs, they're the law. There's even blank black bankers, and you would think, oh no, that that didn't happen back then because they were oppressed so much, and there was a lot of racism back then, even more so. Um, but if you actually look it up, there were at least seventy uh, black communities. I looked it up between 18, six something and, and, and a time period. I have it written down, but it's on my phone. I'm using it uh, to record. But there were actually all black communities and there were black uh, gunslingers and black outlaws, obviously. So as far as uh, the believability there, it's believable that this stuff happened. So it's cool to have 
uh, somebody tell a story uh, about these types of communities because this uh, town of Redwood seems to be predominantly black uh, black community. And then at one point they even need money <laughs> and they go over to the, the white town. <laughs> And, and then when they go to the white town, they have these titles that say whatever town name it was. Let's just call it, I don't know, Silverado, right? It's a white town. It says at the bottom in parentheses. And it's literally a white town. All the buildings are painted white. Uh, even the sand looks a little white. So there are some stylistic elements in here. Um, I will say that, you know, while I'm not a fan, you know, like they put rap music in Witcher's uh, Season 2's trailer. It didn't fit. Uh, they did put rap music in the beginning, uh, during the credits, the, the intro credits, with all the ricochet sounds, and then there was like a, a real fast rap. That song is the only song in the film that doesn't work, that I don't like. But the rest of the rap songs, and reggae songs, and just stylistic songs that you don't normally hear in these westerns, worked perfectly. It was actually surprisingly uh, good. So, and then another thing here is the action. You got to have good action in westerns. Older westerns, I put up with older westerns would have really bad blood squibs or no blood squibs at all. They would just, ooh, ah, ee, willow, <laughs> right? And it wouldn't barely be anything, but these have really good uh, blood squib explosions. So, poof, you'll see the blood go everywhere, you know, rains on people. And, uh, and then the last thing that I really like about the film is just the way everybody talks. So they have their kind of southern accent. They have that kind of Old West way of talking uh, where English was a little rougher or, or more particular. Like, uh, allow me the uh, something of conclusion. Allow me... So she was, I, God darn it, I can't even remember the names. But it's, it's, it's just, I love the way they talk. Because somebody interrupts her. And, allow me the... Uh, shit of conclusion the platitude of oh allow me the latitude of conclusion <laughs> i love that kind of shit man so this film was oozing and these are just good damn characters um and it it tells a story about you know some of these black outlaws black guns gunslingers and black towns in a really good action-filled uh wild west film so um, Netflix made a good one, right? Uh, a lot of the Netflix's original films end up disappointing. And there's not a whole lot of really good Netflix originals. I'd say Extraction is one uh, with Hemsworth. And, uh, you know, so and they're about to do a big one called Red, Red Notice with Ryan Reynolds, uh, Gal Gadot, and Dwayne Johnson. I haven't seen it yet, but... Um, most of the time, at least in the past, Netflix uh, movies have been disappointing, but this one hits the mark. So, I am going to give uh, The Harder They Fall a 9 out of 10 as a Western fan. Something original, mixes modern uh, kind of with uh, Western, tells great story about Western legends. The characters are fascinating. The, the conclusion is, is really... Uh, epic the final fight and that's what you want a battle in the town that's uh, awesome and uh just a, a great fucking story there's a reveal at the end you're like okay this is this is pretty cool and then they kind of tease a little bit of a sequel so uh but i don't think uh, this is one that actually i don't think it needs a sequel and i don't want it to get a sequel i got my space pants on by the way <laughs> and uh so yeah space cowboy i guess anyways so I think that you should go out and see uh, The Harder They Fall if you're into Western like I am, right? And even if you're not into Westerns and you're just into great action films, you might want to check this one out. So uh, check out The Harder They Fall on Netflix now. And uh, yeah, I guess um, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. You want to support the show? You want to see impromptu videos like this more often support our patreon uh get get yourself some merch or something and thank you so much for supporting my show okay bye guys